Welcome to Five Pints In, the show where we're literally five pints in. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Cheers. That was a, a harmonious uh, beer opening there. Uh, and for those of you just listening, you might not be able to see, but um, Ian's actually in studio with us today. Hello. So uh, all three of us here, the, the arguments can be a little more fierce in person or a little less fierce. I don't know, depending on which way they go. Um, but yeah, cheers. Thanks for thanks for coming. And uh, It's nice to be back in the studio house. Yeah, <laughs> yeah the studio, not, not a one-bedroom <laughs> studio, but a studio. Um, yeah, so let's kick off. We, I mean, we missed last week. We had, to t- we had to take a short break, so we've got a lot to talk about here. Uh, but the big news coming out today is uh, Frank Lampard getting sacked from Chelsea. Kind of relevant to, obviously, Chelsea, West Ham and City. So let's start off there. I mean, just... Oh, uh, wait. Actually, we should start off with why I'm wearing yeah. a Chelsea scarf. You're the biggest fan, yeah. Yeah, with a City shirt underneath. And it's getting hot in here. But, um, yeah, I lost the predictor again. Again. <laughs> Is it right that I'm the only one who hasn't lost? I think so, yeah. You're, you're the only one who hasn't lost, yeah. Yeah, but you haven't come in first place every single time, so... I didn't say that. Yeah, but you have <laughs> some... He just does draws across the board. Yeah. You have some weird results in there, though. And I always try to do, like, the opposite when I see yours. Like, I don't know. It's... You're not supposed to do that. <laughs> You're yeah, supposed I... to do them independent of each other. Yeah. You know, not be influenced in any way. Yeah, but... I, I actually get mad when my scores are similar to yours, to be fair. <laughs> Well, I haven't lost. So how can you, if you copied me every time, you would never, never have had to wear a Man City shirt at all. Uh, of the three times you've lost. No. That's like playing it too close to chess. We're going to get um, like a good Why couple don't you of team weeks. Up? Why don't you team up, put your results together? There you go, yeah. yeah. Jordan can just copy my scores. And see what happens. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, we yeah, we could, but I was so close as well. If I would have got the new, so we were we were tied. Or it was no, down to the last. I minute. had I was one point behind both of you, and then it was down to the Newcastle. Arsenal. Newcastle yeah, beat Arsenal two one. Yeah, which I, honestly isn't that. It's not out. It's not really out there, is we it? We didn't, did we? No, it was just it was just funny how <laughs> it was just like an outlandish result well, for it, the deciding game. Yeah, you know? I had City four nil, and then it was like I mean we were watching it together, weren't we? You two had had them three nil. And um, I had Arsenal two 0 You had Arsenal two 0 Yeah, I'm just so I I it was like seven points to six after I got that City result. Yeah. So Anybody actually, you lost. Well, <laughs> yeah, and now I'm wearing, you're wearing this, uh, a scarf. Yeah. Yeah. So it just I just, goes I just wear those. my own clothes every week. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, another good thing about being you won't hear the parrot squawking in the background now, will you? That's true. Yeah. Poor fella. Yeah. But, he, didn't, uh, he didn't die. He didn't die. <laughs> No, he's just not in studio he's with us. bit me again. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so if any of you are uh, betting men uh, or betting women, betting people out there... Um, well covered. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, don't follow my picks on the predictor, is what I would say. Or any of ours, really. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just because we beat you doesn't mean that we're good. Yeah. We just didn't lose. Yeah. But... Um, yeah, so anyway, let's jump into to the Frank Lampard sacking. I mean, that's... Uh, it, I don't know, was it shocking? Was it not shocking? Where, where, what do you think? Well, it wasn't shocking, was it? Because he'd been talking about it since, uh, well, the last two weeks, I think it is. Is that okay? Is that <laughs> so you can't see me face? Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't shocking. I just, I just think it's ridiculous that they've done it. I, d- I do believe that managers need time. You know, he, he's relatively inexperienced and... And okay, they they must have known when they gave him the job. Uh, are they thinking that okay, he's got to go out and win things straight away? You know, after what he dealt with last season, you can't you can't fault him from from last season. No, making the Champions League and not having any money to spend. And and look, at, when the, I watch it now and they say, no, he spent two hundred million. Is that a lot of money today? Is it? Is that like, three or four players? Yeah. What is is two hundred million? Bigger than it sounds, or less than it sounds, and and at the end of the day, look at did he did he even buy them? Who at the club has, has selected them them players? Yeah, was it Frank himself? So is it his fault that Werner isn't hitting the target? The habits hasn't really stood out since he's been so there. Yeah, got injured. Yeah, is it is it Frank's fault? I, I I don't think you can blame him. And and look, Arteta, I suppose if he hadn't yeah, won the FA Cup, yeah. would be in the same boat. 
Yeah, but it's not like Arsenal really to cycle through managers like that. It's not. It's not. To it's me, not like any other team. Yeah, Chelsea. It's like you know. I'm. Su- I'm kind of. I'm a little surprised. I know last season he did. He they had the transfer ban and all that, and he did okay as as far as the the situation. But I, he still could have got sacked, and I probably wouldn't have been. But didn't Unai Emery only get like eighteen months, or was that longer? So you can say yeah. Arsenal weren't like that. Now they've got their second manager within three years or whatever. Yeah, but it's still. How not... do you know it's not going to be like that from now on? Yeah. Again, Arsenal can easily turn into that. I mean, you look at Arsene Wenger. He was, I, I think. Out of all the huge European countries, Arsenal were n- like never in debt. They were the like, yeah. you know. Well, here's the they- thing too. Look at look at the the caliber of players at Chelsea. Look at the caliber of players at Arsenal. What Arteta is doing for Arsenal is much m- more impressive than what Lampard was doing with the players at there's, Chelsea. There's nothing impressive but that's, about but that's Arsenal the, right that's, now. That's what I'm saying. The players that's, are. That's like you're saying they're settling now. Arsenal are settling. Well, I think they're just looking at it like if we get the right players in, if this is what Arteta can do with Xhaka and all the other. Yeah, the Arsenal have. If you want to play, if if you want to have that four-two-four that they have, that front four is the best. Yeah, in the, but they, but they've got oh, no midfield, and you can't play a four-two-four in the Premier League. Yeah, but it's the ho- they're going after the likes of Torreira or they're going after Xhaka. You know, it's like all it takes is. I mean, I thought. Um, but that's not Arteta. That's what I'm I, saying. I like Thomas. Um, Partey. Partey, yeah. He, he got injured, didn't he? He's a, I think he's a great player. Didn't uh, Arsenal have a load of the centre-backs out at the same time as well? Yeah, but they deserve to be out, mate, because yeah. they're all shite, <laughs> yeah. to be fair. But that's what I'm saying. So if there's no midfield and no, not but really the, a, a that, decent that back front four. And even William. William's not even... Yeah, not the all, but you don't... You, yeah, but you got to... The, the role, like players that deserve to at least be in the Europa League you know yeah so, but you can't win you can't win games just having a front four and nothing sadly, else sadly Mesut left yeah Fenerbahce didn't he yeah but um, yeah I mean honestly like so they're talking about I mean maybe Abramovich was just waiting for the right manager to open up and I mean Tuchel was fired from um, PSG wasn't he so well, that, that's that's another thing for me I mean aren't you as good as your most recent I mean, is it Tuchel, Tuchel, Tommy Tuchel? You're getting little Tommy Tuchel coming in. <laughs> <laughs> so if you can't, if you can't do it with Mbappe and Neymar, uh, no, how but how are you going to fix this Chelsea team? But it's chalk and cheese comparing the Premier League, and you know all the. It's like the Italian league. If you go and well, that adds Juventus, to his, that adds to his point, doesn't it? If you don't, well, yeah. no, because it's it's a whole different. Like you can't be you, like going from the Liga to the Premier League is even just for players. It's completely different, but yeah. that's, it's physical, so they get it straight away. With managers, they think they can do what uh, like they did in La Liga, and it just doesn't work like that. It's a whole yeah, different... that's not yeah. Sorry, that's not this, what I, how I, I, not, I thought. Too, sorry, I was just saying oh, I thought right. Tuchel was amazing at Dortmund, uh-huh. and that's why he did get the PSG job. And it's I don't know clubs like I know PSG. You can take it's that fucking off hot you, in this. Yeah. Can I just hang it? No, I'm at the I'm in the city shirt. You got to wear that <laughs> scarf though. <laughs> Yeah, hang on, microphone. With with the likes of PS, a club like PSG, Chelsea are very similar. It's it's all like money driven and results and that they don't care how you play. They they just want results and I think the that's fans, why yeah. that's why that's, Mourinho was so successful there because and that's why he had that run with the most with Tottenham as well. Same, the most same unbeaten thing. or well, no is, goal. It is about results though, isn't it? it no, it's about football. Well, it, it isn't. It should be, but it isn't. It's about results. Well, yeah, clearly. I mean, it's about success. I mean, I mean, you look. There, there was somebody mentioned that the Southampton manager, Hassan Hudden, Hudden, whatever his name is, for what he's done at Southampton, couldn't he come and get a tune out of them? Does it have to be? No, I'm. I no, no. I, I don't want when we beat Liverpool to him break out in tears. You know. <laughs> Every single I time think, we beat yeah, we them. wouldn't with yeah. Chelsea, would he? Because it's sort of expected more than Southampton, but. And even even the other night when I heard Benitez was leaving, I thought, oh, that might be the one, you know. Yeah, yeah. And then and then I, I go and look at the the newspapers or whatever online, and and everything's about Tuchel. It's just, I mean, Ch- Chelsea's <laughs> always going to be that sticky club until Abramovich leaves because it's it's his say. Like, what does he know about football? You know, he's not going to sell though. He ha- he has the yeah exactly. Yeah. But I mean, he is. We keep going the way we're going. He but is it coming? Apply a load of money in there, of course, and, but and get them success. Well, no one to, okay, can the I mean, no one can fire him. No, like it's just it's, if he, it's. I mean, it's 
his decision whether he thinks it's a bad investment anymore to stay in or not, you know? Yeah. But he has complete control over this club that he's won the Champions League and all these cups with over the last couple of years, but we've never been a solid <clears throat> club. We're the most, like, fickle club out there. We, I've always said we can go and beat Man City easily and then lose to Norwich, you know, a couple of years ago. And and that's just how Chelsea are. You don't go, like, even with a great team of fit players for Chelsea, you don't think, oh, we're going to win the league this season. It's like, we should maybe win a cup. Yeah. And if we win the league, great. So, so do you, you know? think... Frank tinkered with things a little bit too much, or I don't. I don't think you know because I, he, I don't they think started he okay. I don't think he? he tinkered enough. I think it. I don't think he had any impact on the players positively, and like maybe for like a little trickle. But it just seemed like he just like he. It just seemed like he did what Solskjaer is doing. It's like he might as well have just gone and sat in the fifth. Then, fifth then I'll row and yeah. just let the players play. I you think. Know? He, I think it was a lot of luck. I think oh, one part it was a lot of luck. I think it was, and it was also the doubt of. You know, like like you said, we were banned from the transfer window, but even though we signed Pulisic before that, so we still kind of snuck in a player during our ban. Yeah. And it was like all, it was like we were supposed to be the underdog, and we ended up finishing, my memory's gone, like I think fifth, no, fourth. Fourth, yeah. Yeah, fourth. So it was like, it wasn't expected of us, but we did it anyway. But that's strictly because Man United and Tottenham were just so shit. They didn't want it. They had three games to just knock us out of the top four. And they kept on losing and drawing. And so it, it wasn't Lampard. It, it was just the sheer look of the shitty teams in the Premier League. And that's what's going on this season. Yeah. You know? We didn't capitalise on it. We just... I just... I mean, I, look, I still believe they shouldn't have got rid of him this year. Yeah. I, st- I still believe he's got a squad there that could turn it round. He's just got to get uh-huh. them firing. I don't think he found the, the harmony within, within the group. You know, you I mean, I mean there was a couple of strange... Strange thing to me, leaving Giroud out and leaving Abraham out, and kind of persistent with Timo Werner when he he really was low on confidence and didn't look like he was going to get a goal. But also, but, you know, but starting would, a match builds confidence he, as well. Yeah, you but know, he, he would, that, he's given he given what ten? What was it? Ten or eleven games? Yeah, getting a goal. Werner, how long do you leave? How long do you leave it? He also oh, made. No, we he also al- had Torres for a while. He also we? made oh. weird substitutions, like he would bring Jorginho on for Conte when yeah. they were down, and it's like, yeah. I don't see Jorginho as more of an attack and player. Like that's not really where you should be making the substitutions in the middle of the field like that. Like, uh, my Pep just brought three defenders on the other day when they were one 0 down and yeah. they won three one. Yeah, but he obviously okay. There's a, there's a difference between Pep not and defenders, Lampard. Two defenders, you know. Yeah, I mean, he brought Cancelo on. To push Laporte to left back, you know, to, and Cancelo's an attacking yeah, he's substitution. Defender, yeah, I mean, I landed two of the goals. Yeah, so we really converted to like a, a a back three, you know. I mean, Laporte was playing left back really, so it was a back two. Laporte was playing quite high right. on the ball, but I mean, what what I would like to find out is was it was Fr- did Frank have an influence on them players coming in, or was somebody else upstairs that is hiding behind his seat right now, which yeah. is more than likely, and letting Frank take the shit for it. You know that's that's what gets me more than anything. People, people hiding in the background and and not coming forward and saying, you know what, it was me. I I I was the one that brought them in. But it's not. It's it's a board. It's probably going to be a board, and well, not they're not going to call them mate, No, because people have individuals. Yeah, but everyone has a boss on there, and then everyone le- speaks to well, Abramovich. Well, yeah, but some of them are brought there to find the players. Yeah. But is, this, is it not the same story that's been going on though? I mean, it's oh, like... Oh, 100%. It's just, well, that's why I, I said I, when he got the job, I'm like, I feel sorry for him. And I'm yeah. glad John Terry didn't get the job. It's like, don't bring in... It's it's the reason why Steven Gerrard didn't get the job. Be, he, yeah. he, didn't, he, he hasn't proved himself as a manager. He, yeah. of course, proved himself as a player. He's proven himself now. Or well, I'm not sure how Rangers are doing right well, now. He's, but he's doing well in the sky. They're, doing okay. yeah. Yeah. they're up there, yeah. yeah I, I would have rather had... Like, first of all... I, I never, no offense to him, I never wanted him as my manager anyway. Like, I wouldn't mind him being second or third, you know. Who, Lampard? Yeah. I, don't, I just don't, I didn't think he had it as a but player. It's a huge task for a, a player to go from. 100%, especially that quick. To management. And yeah. not even managing in the Premier League yeah. as well, which is a whole different beast in itself. But, I mean, I feel so sorry for him because of, but that's just the way Chelsea I think, are. I think you know? in the long run, it would have been better for him to have gone up through the playoffs with Derby and stayed at Derby, one hundred percent, and 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 got his his blood in, in the Premier League with a team that might have had to fight. Mm-hmm. Do you know what I mean? Like a of Leeds course, yeah. or yeah, 
you know, like Fulham are doing now. Yeah, go put and, and yeah. get the extra. Yeah. But that's not his fault, is it? The fact that he did well, no. didn't get there, and then the job became available. He got an opportunity. It's of a you're not going to say no. I think. I think though. I think Lampard could have gone and built his managerial career up, and then came back in ten years and be like, "Give me the job." We still might no. though. I, I, yeah, I, yeah. There's might. nothing saying because yeah. I think Abramovich has said, you know, because he's such a cult hero and that, that mm-hmm. they still have a good personal relationship. And and I can imagine Frank because he, he is he has become a an articulate person. You know what I mean? He when when you yeah. listen to him speak, yeah, yeah. He, he speaks honest. You know, yeah, he's confident. Yeah, and he, well, yeah, he's yeah. confident in his own in his own ability. Yeah. He knows this isn't going to be the last. It's just it's probably going to hurt and smart a little bit. Yeah, because it because it's Chelsea. But at the end of the day, he couldn't have said no. He must have known when he took it that this could happen. Oh, Oh, one hundred. You know what yeah. I mean? It's still you can't say no. Mm-hmm. You, you jump in because at the end of the day, he, he survived the first part with no... The hard trans- part. Yeah, the hard part. And you must think then, okay, let me, you know... He's got like let a two-year push or something. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, here it is. And, you know, we've got some players in. I'm going to be able to, to mould this squad. And, and and look, the youngsters, when they did come in, started really well. Yeah. They, they set it alight. And then, for me, he really didn't continue it in the second season. Well, it was. I, I do think that's a lot to do with. Um, I mean, Mason Mount's kind of been the same. I've just. I've never rated Tammy Abraham. I think he had that little thing that strikers go through where just everything he touched went in, you know. And that that's just not who he is. He he had a great season. He could get better, but he's not. He's not that season. That he's not that yeah. player, you know. I think every. I think also. Everything was thrown at them too soon, you know. They got in the Chelsea team, and then straight away they were in the England team. Yeah. It's a, is, is that a similar thing to coming into management too soon? Well, it was also... To be thrust into that spotlight too soon, and I mean, then the pressure's on you. I mean, can you blame them? It was also timing, though. It was like Chelsea were had the spotlight on them as, oh, look, they're going to do bad. And then these two kids from England, from the, aca- like, from the academy, yeah. which is like the dream story, come up and do amazing. And then England have a upcoming games so it was just like within those couple of weeks they were like oh they have to start in England because Harry Kane's doing shit and mm-hmm. we don't have a midfield you know so why wouldn't we put those people oh. in so oh, I, d- I just think he was no, capping I, everybody you know? yeah no I do agree that they cap everyone but I think in that circumstance they, those two players in particular were the talk of the Premier League you I know su- I no suppose, one, yeah I was what, what so, I find sad as well is that it's another Young English manager have been pushed out, and a foreign manager's come in again. Mm-hmm. I find that I find that 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 upsets me in a way. Yeah, you know. You think I'd have I'd have Lampard over Southgate? I'd say that. <clears throat> yeah, that'd be a weird one though. Southgate's playing it too safe to to, it, I, to be in trouble. I I think I always say this, but didn't um, uh, Roy Hodgson get uh, relegated with West Brom? Then get the England job I think so yeah I think that sounds right but I'm just saying the England job was there for him the England job's not available right now because no South- there's, there's somebody's mentioned Celtic though well yeah. you know yeah, the, the competition with Stevie Gerrard the Rangers I think I, I personally I, I foresee Klopp's gone off the rails and I think Gerrard will be the next manager in at Liverpool no but that's, that's no. always going to happen Gerrard is always going to be the next but Klopp's manager lost but, but, it. no matter but, what but again, but I wouldn't say he's lost he's lost it. No, not, he's no not his management I, I think his, his management is still obviously there but his, his press conferences his arguments with Sean Dyche regardless of who started it. he's just for me it's like Klopp is just I mean we were saying it the other week he's had a taste of, of the, the am I seen Pep go like that though? he's gone mad with Pep yeah. Yeah. I've seen Pep go like that uh, lose it a little bit I know, you know? but I I hate to say it about Pep, I, like maybe once or twice, but I think most of the time it's, I think it is pure frustration. The game with, gets you, honestly. It, of it's, course it does. It's yeah. the best and the worst but thing in Klopp, the world. Klopp you know? seems like there's something boiling beneath him right now that's just like. Yeah, it's yeah. called I haven't won in six games. A whole month, isn't it? So Klopp's definitely lost it. I think so. I, I truly, yeah. I, I truly think that. I don't know what it is. Like, I, and yeah, I, I see. It's what obvious you, what it is. No, no, I know what it. Oh, yeah. what did I? What I? I saw like a funny <laughs> thing on Facebook uh, today, and it's like uh, two an Everton fan and a and a Liverpool fan are in a bar talking, um, and uh, and the the 
This is a terrible joke. <laughs> <laughs> they, they both just got new dogs, right? And the, the Everton fan goes, oh yeah, my dog's an Everton fan. Because um, cause whenever we win a game, he's all happy afterwards. And he goes, uh, what about your dogs, the Liverpool fan? And the Liverpool fan goes, I don't know. I, I got them just a month ago. <laughs> It was better written on Facebook, but they haven't won in a month, have they? That's the. <laughs> All right. Let's cut that. <laughs> anyway. But yeah. What do you mean? Don't be like. Don't be that. Don't be that. Um, don't be that person. Hmm? It's obviously just you and Liverpool, and now that just because they're losing, <clears throat> don't be. You know, like that was literally on. I didn't make that joke up. No, that was I on know. Facebook. I know, but I wouldn't own it neither. Got a good chuckle out. No, there. but why not? Why not? I mean, I'm happy to see think- Liverpool are City's biggest threat, and I need Liverpool to lose games. That's that's the end of it. Yeah. So I'm not being sour towards no, them at all. Yeah. I truly a think. Ha, ha, well, okay. I think you are sour. Yeah. No, well, that's well let I'm me saying. know when Chelsea get up the table and you've got other see, teams to go. worry about. Like, <laughs> you're sour, worried about Arsenal. Sour. You're worried about hey, Arsenal hey, right back now. In. I'm, I'm not being sour about you. Back in. Yeah, because I wouldn't be sour about sitting in ninth either. Yeah, you can't talk about Arsenal. <clears throat> No, you're right what you're saying. Oh, the, I, look, the game gets to you and, and you can visibly you see Klopp. And, and the argument with Sean Dyche where they both played down, but yeah. you can imagine you, you're in the heat of the game. It, it happens. But losing at home to Burnley has is, is got to be the icing on the cake, hasn't it, to yeah. be fair? And, and what a weird and, way and to then, lose as well. Yeah, and then, and then losing in the cup and you're thinking, whoa, how long can this go on, you know? Yeah. Can we, can we talk about... Well, that's. I was just setting you up for that. Yeah, thank you. Um, <laughs> well, Ashley Barnes. Yeah, this is the thing. Like, it's not like they they lost for being bad. Even though Burnley looked good in stints. Yeah. It's just Ashley Barnes cheating and diving, and I mean, he was the reason for the whole. Um, <clears throat> pretty sure he was the reason. I think Fabinho kicked out kicked out at him, you know, and that's why Klopp and uh, Dice was arguing, but. But that's what he's there for, the thing, mate. He's there to be a nuisance. He's that no, type no, no, of player. You, yeah, I know, but, I mean, Trevor um, Trevor was, like, you oh, know... He's a bigger fucking nuisance. Exactly, <laughs> yeah. Um, that's what I'm saying, but he was, a, he was a nuisance. And then, actually, Barnes is just a nuisance in, in cheating and diving. He's just a big guy, and it's like, whenever he falls over, it's like... It's like when Drogba used to dive. It's like, oh, how can he fall over? He's that yeah. big, so it must be a foul. And I, I, I don't know if you've actually, like looked at the penalty from all the angles but uh-huh. it's not a penalty like there's no way that brings you down and so Burnley have cheated well, to beat Liverpool well you so can say that about probably about 50% of the penalties no like 90% of the penalties no 90% yeah but that's what I'm saying it's not like Burnley's gone out and had this I mean they did, had a good game like I said but it's not like they've gone and like that's what that's why I'm sorry about it like, like even even if they'd have held them to nil nil, it would still been a good game. Oh yeah, Burnley, of know? course, yeah, but and it's still been a good result for City it's, United. It yeah. just dampens and Leicester. It dampens the win because you cheated to do it. Like if I was a Liverpool fan, I would be <clears throat> screaming inside. It doesn't the fact dampen that it though. It doesn't dampen it. Does it for it the does. people? Because look, Burnley fighting relegation. It, their no, fans I aren't going to care. I don't care. I want cheat. Gonna... I want cheat. No, I, I, I want I, cheat. I agree with you. Go, go and look at that penalty, c- considering that was the deciding thing, and there was no play around it. Ashley Barnes just literally stepped up, took the penalty. Take that goal away from them or do something, because like, go and review that die. Mm. You know? like, that is the deciding factor of the game and could be a deciding the factor of who wins the league. It, 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 Ashley it, Barnes diving, yeah. you know? Like if, it, and if you condone that, then you condone yeah. diving and cheating. Because it has... I mean, this season's been... It's tight enough now to where one point, or the difference exactly, between yeah. one point could because be... Because of how bad everyone is. <clears throat> yeah, I, I think, just going back to Klopp, I think he needs to... He just needs to reset himself in himself. Of course, he's still yeah. obviously got them. He he's got go the like, players. He's got the. He needs to take like a week away. Yeah, go do paoli in the <laughs> desert or something. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. Needs to like yeah, completely cool off and then rethink his like because he's the he's the manager that's been in, uh, who's lost the most finals or something like that. So yeah, he's at like or Champions League or something like that. So you you know he's he's been there. And had the hurt, you and know. And come back, yeah. And come back and I done mean, it time and time again. So when he got here, it's like he just got way too big headed. Yeah. And he shouldn't have because you know he knows his football. And I've been saying it for the last but year. You've, or two. But you've got to enjoy the success when it happens though. Yeah. Don't, you know, yeah, you, don't, you can't don't, look back afterwards and go, Wow, you know what? I really didn't celebrate, I didn't 
I didn't get involved. It didn't really feel that way for me. And you miss it. You know what I mean? You you can't let it go by. You've got to do it in the moment. It's why now he's angry. He's angry in the moment. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I mean, look, you can't... Just talking about a Burnley penalty, and, and it could change the points. And I, 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 they ran away with it last season, but how many times did, did you see them get things? Oh, yeah. Uh, in last season, yeah. and you say, okay, now, if you'd have taken all them points off, would it have been... No, of course. They probably still would have won the no, league, of course. it wouldn't of, have been the runaway. Of runaways. course, yeah, but you can't... Uh, you, you can talk about the past all you want, and yeah, the Burnley game is now the past, but if we You're don't... You're saying in real time, it yeah, needs to be exactly. out. The Burnley game is fresh enough for us to be like, this is still going on, we've got to cut this out the sport, <clears> because if I was... If that was Chelsea, and we were doing what Liverpool has been doing the last couple of years, mm -hmm. I'll be... Like steaming out the ears, you know. <clears throat> I'll go find like the, where the, the, Ashley Barnes lives. There's five a week. <laughs> it's just it's just the way the game is now. Yeah, yeah. there's five of them. Well, that's why that's what I'm saying. I'm trying and, to. And I'm they're trying not to even looking. I tell you what, I have seen. I've seen a couple of yellow cards for diving recently. Yeah, I but think that, one was the ladder West this, Brom. This this has been happening in the last two decades. It's all this diving. It's like for for a couple of months, refs do book the divers, mm -hmm. and then they just trickle off, and they, they don't should, book they them should, again. They should they know? should know who's prone to diving as well. Watching it back, you well, know? they like have you stats of the most fouled players. Don't yeah, they? Grealish. You see, you see McGinn for, mm -hmm. oh, Villa. Yeah, he's, he's, he's a disgrace. Yeah, he's, it's disgusting. He, I mean, it's, and he doesn't even get mentioned to yeah. begin. That's that's who I was thinking of. That yeah, wanted to put on he's now list. entered the most fouled players. I think he's third. Yeah, or something like that. But as a ref, you should know, like, okay, he's. I've seen him go down in in replays and stuff. But wasn't it? Wasn't it something, mate? Wasn't it something recently? Rashford came out and said Jose taught us how to win penalties. Probably. I, could, I yeah. think that was last week. He came out it. in the press. Yeah. Probably. Yeah. And now Bruno Imagine, Fernandez is reaping the rewards from Jose. It. Didn't teach him, no, did he? No, no. But I'm saying Maybe if, it's, in if, Portugal. It's, if it's in the, mm. the if it's embedded in the team, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, let's um let's move over to West Ham because I mean the unbeaten streak they're on right now. What is it? One, two, right. three, four, five, six, seven unbeaten games, five straight wins in a row, sitting seventh in the table. Um, I mean they're they're looking they're looking solid, they aren't to, they? They've they, done unbelievable. They you need know. to make a Suchek captain. <laughs> To well, to be fair, you know what? I've got to hold my hand up here, haven't I? Yeah, yeah a little bit. Because <laughs> uh, five goals in, in ten games. And and to be honest with you, the cup game against Doncaster the other day, he, he looked like he could play football. Yeah. He, he, you know, he was... I'm not saying he can't play football, but he doesn't seem to to go looking for the ball as much for me. But, but the other day, I mean, it was supposedly the second team or second string, whatever you want to call it, because it was the cup. But it was the best football he played in that run. Yeah, yeah. Even that run of, of so many wins. Yeah. It's the best football that he played, you know. Ben Rama, Lanzini. Suchek was getting it. Him and Noble. I think they played a 4 2 3 1. And uh, played Yarmolenko up front, who I don't see why he shouldn't be an option. Yeah. If Antonio isn't there, or give you the option to put Antonio out. Yeah, I didn't even. Mm -hmm. I think yeah. Antonio's more effective. The in the three wider than Yarmolenko is the other side right yeah so if you've got someone who's not as quick as Antonio that can be a focal point up front why couldn't you then go Antonio Lanzini either Ben Rama Bowen or Bowen in, in that three yeah and and Nobes looked like he hadn't missed the game to be fair yeah he was in there and he was actually making Suchek play as well I'm not saying put anyone in instead of Declan Rice that would be ridiculous but if if Suchek adopted that attitude in the Premier League that he did against Doncaster, I'd have no issues. Yeah, whatsoever. You know, you, do, you think that's confidence then, considering he can score in the Premier League? It it might. Be, I, I don't know. I, I just think, yeah, I think he knows his limitations, mate. I think he knows what he's good at, which every player should do. You have to know your strengths. You know, you do have to know yourself, your teammates, and the opposition. But I, I think he's a bit subdued when it comes to the Premier League. As far as going and joining in the play, timid, but Tim, uh, yeah, a bit timid, yeah. Was well, so it a completely different team? Like team you're playing against, yeah, Doncaster. It's like as much possession. I mean, look at look. Even Moyes playing a four-two-three-one, it shows confidence against the opposition, doesn't it? It's yeah, like but, yeah, but still, they they went out and and it was a really professional job that they did. You mm -hmm. know, every everybody thinks, and I've been there that West Ham are more more than likely to slip up against the lesser teams. Yeah, and Stockport wasn't the best performance. 
you know, and, and non-league side, and then you come up against someone like Doncaster, who, you know, aren't the worst, and then and they come out and they play in a diff- totally different manner. Yeah. Not not just a different system, but a different manner. You know, they've come out and knocked the ball about mm-hmm. from the back, and they don't do that in the Premier League. Right. They don't roll it out. They don't play from the back, really. Mm-hmm. You know, they become more of a counter-attack side, uh, or or get, getting the ball forward a little bit earlier. But um, you know, I, I I do believe you've got to you've got to have a Lanzini in there, and we said it, and someone questioned us after the Tottenham game. I think, you know, is this where you find him again and right and and get his juices right flowing on the to, confidence yeah. towards yeah right on riding on the confidence, but you know he's still not back to to what he was, but th- that's going to take games and. And looking at him now, he he seems like he wants to be more involved. I don't believe he ever wants to leave West Ham. I mean, he's actually talked today that an Italian side have maybe put a bid in for Fornals. Mm. Uh, $24 million, I think, what they paid for him. And it's a chance for them to, to recoup the money. And I would take it. Yeah. I would mm-hmm. take it right now. You know, um, they're desperate for a centre forward. So, and I think Moises said that there may be the chance of two signings before the the window closes, but he's he's not gonna. One might be him. Yeah, you know he's he's been offered a, a contract, I think, extend his deal from the end of the season, which is good because he's he's got them there and thereabouts, hasn't he? Yeah, I was Head just gonna, Chelsea. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, I, I was just I was just gonna say uh, it's actually the highest ever. Point tally halfway through the season, West Ham have had in the Premier League thirty-two mm-hmm. points. Oh, did you just say the higher than Chelsea? Yeah. Oh, yeah. I was on that for a second. Yeah, they are, and that's why Frank got fired. <clears throat> right. But they look. I mean, they look like you know, it's where West Ham should be. I mean, yeah, I seventh. You know what I mean? Right. It's 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 like they become solid as well. Yeah, they become solid, a, a complete unit defensively. I think. Yeah. I know they're still looking for fullbacks. Look, they've. I believe they've missed Masuaku. Yeah. You know, um, Sufal, I think, has not played the last couple of games. But they've still got Johnson and Fredericks, you know, who, who are still fairly young. Yeah. You know, who who can, I think, can do a decent job. It's it's weird. It's like, I don't know if you guys agree with me on this, but it's, it's like West Ham have always had that, like, big team mentality. You know, even being in the lower leagues, not necessarily like saying they can compete with Liverpool and City and that but you know like if if they build a strong enough foundation they have the fans yeah and like I just said I feel like they have the you know they have the history they have all that they could easily in the next couple of years sorry they could easily be in the next couple of years be like a consistent Europa League yeah. I don't see why they can't be a Leicester do you think yeah 100% do you think yeah. there was a bit of it's like, like a, a yeah. I mean this is obviously like been said but I really find like maybe there was like a bit of an identity crisis when they left yeah. the Berlin you know it was yeah. like 100% and I think that happens to like 90% of teams though. yeah look it's, it's still that. to be seen let's not I mean I'm, I don't want to kid myself and say oh they've got over that hurdle about winning at the the London Stadium because mm. they've been doing it without the fans there. I think if I remember back, we talked about some clubs might benefit yeah, and yeah. some players might benefit from no from fans. there being no fans there. And it seems as if it's it sort of happened mm-hmm. with the West Ham players to a sense, not taking anything away from what they've achieved, you know, because I, obviously <clears throat> I want them up there. I want them yeah. round about. I want happy West Ham fans on my Twitter account and. But, you know, but and in the stadium yeah. too. But and it's in been, the stadium, yeah. It's been the perfect time for them to get used to yeah. the stadium. It's because it, to me, it seems like when there's no one in the stands, it's just the pitch. You know what I mean? Like yeah. the rest of the stadium could be, it could be open. There could be yeah. no seats. But this there is the be... difference. Play to to players. It should be just a pitch anyway. Yeah. You know, it's about it's about blocking things out. It's about you being in the moment in the game. Or not not taking a second to realize and look round or. It's it's hard to block it out, you know, especially when fans are getting on your back. But it's what you have to be and what you have to do to be a top player. It, it's there's no getting away from it. You, you don't you don't want this. You don't want to play in front of no fans. You don't want mm. you know you 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 should they should be missing the atmosphere that that stadium can generate. Yeah, 
I mean, all the talk that it's not a football stadium and that, there's still, if you've got 60,000 West Ham fans in there, I guarantee you they're generating noise. You know? I guarantee you that if you can't lift yourself on the back of that, right? you don't really belong there. You know, it's... Uh, and it is... It's not like it's not like Upton Park. It's not it's not that hostility where they're on top of you, you know. So so you've really got that breathing space, even when things are going wrong. Mm-hmm. You know, it's it's a little comforter for you. But you know, you're also you can turn it the other way around when things are going well. You want them on top. You want that. You want them to generate that. Yeah. That atmosphere and that fierceness. You know. Yeah, Upton Park was like compact, wasn't it? It was like you, you could well, hear everyone. But they they are they're gonna be coming back to happy fans, That's which what, yeah. um, is amazing, you know. And they're yeah. gonna feel those first couple of games, even if they get a couple of draws that they should have won, you know, those fans are still gonna be like. It could be a, a boost for the. Uh, well, hope, you know, yeah. I mean, who knows what's going on and when they'll they'll get the fans <clears throat> back in, whether well, it's by the two thousand or what. But they've set themselves up to be in the best possible position. Yeah. They could. They're they're doing the best out of any team in the Premier League right now, for for every team's league for every team's own standard. Right. West Ham of. I mean, but I, well, done. Well, Villa are a little bit just close. Yeah. You know Because I, mean? I I think West Ham yeah. should be here. I don't. I think Villa are outdoing themselves. I think West Ham should be. I think yeah, but you know what I mean. Could yeah. maybe say compared to last season. I mean, those two teams as well fighting relegation. I, I just I, there's there's just something like it's tainted results when. When you have someone, and I'll always go back to this, when you have someone who cheats the most and he cheats more than Bruno Fernandes, mm-hmm. like, when, and then now McGinn. Jack Grealish. Yeah, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, I felt like I didn't even have to say his name. It's like, it's a tainted result. So I yeah. feel like that, well, that, you know, since a game can be decided by a penalty, I, that's... Yeah, but I will say, though, Villa's signings, like the goalkeeper from Arsenal, yeah, he, Ross yeah. Barkley... Like it, it, they were good signings. I think they've they Ollie made Watkins. the right moves. Ollie Watkins, yeah. I mean, you yeah, know, I, you can't. I mean, yeah. I told you Traore as well would would come on a few weeks back. Yeah, he's banged in a few goals. But... Yeah, and Villa have two games in hand, which could take them. Yeah, they could easily lose both of those games. Yeah, it could, yeah, that's, it yeah, that's could that's, take them into yeah, fourth though. Villa having two games in hand isn't something you. Really it's not worry Man City about. having one game in hand. Right, yeah. sitting behind the league leaders, only by two points. As it well. was it was a shame that day, though. I mean, I know going top, but only staying top for a couple yeah, of hours against Villa as well, no, wasn't it? I was desperate for Fulham to get a result against United that day, but and they Fulham were up one nil, weren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. After five yeah, minutes, you, you, can't, you can't have everything, can you? you you've had it, it's like blatantly obvious. Mm. You, you're gonna like the next couple of games are just gonna dominate, and yeah. it looks like Man United, even though they. Had an alright game with the three two against Liverpool. Mm-hmm. I don't think that was the strongest Liverpool side. I think Man United, you know, slip right still, down. I still you don't even need to win. I still games, feel you know? more threatened by Liverpool than yeah, I do time, about 100%. United. Even though the and yeah. Leicester, even I think United mm. just they just don't. It's like Pogba's perked up because there's interest from PSG. Pochettino yeah. said his first signing he wants Pogba at PSG. I mean, if that's going to happen in this window, it's the next few days is going to have to happen. But. I, I just had a bet with my friend who's a Man United fan. He messaged me about Lampard. Um, I had a bet with him that Chelsea are finishing above United. That I yeah, I don't know about that. I, <laughs> I'm not, I don't know about that. Still happen. But um, talking about Could that that City game though um, against Villa, there's two goals that were the two go- they both of them were sort of questioned a little bit. There was some controversy around them. Well, one was a handball, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. How, how can you not give a penalty? Yeah, but I'm just saying there was there was uproar obviously from. Well, well, I think it was more the first goal, wasn't it? That's from yeah, but both yeah. I'm just saying because they, one happened because that was the first goal. The first goal yeah, was the, the offside. Gets, um, the second one was the the handball penalty, wasn't it? Yeah, Jesus has said it. So the 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 offside goal then, um, it's a strange one, and I've seen it like looked at a million different times and explained. And to me, it seems. I mean, we've spoken about this. To me, it seems like the rule is that's it wrong. It, it's not the player that weird. was wrong. It's not the ref that was wrong. The rules themselves are wrong. Yeah, because it was a weird one. I mean, wait, so I. I hate to say this, but I haven't thought about this enough. But every time I do think about it, I come back to the same conclusion. How is it wrong? The rules? Yeah. How is it wrong? 
Well, well, I'm saying I don't agree with the rule. Not well, that the rule is wrong. The rule is the rule. So why don't why don't you agree with it? Of course, it's the rule. They they have terrible rules. So so just to from, just from to now. just to lay it out there, the, the the reason Rodri wasn't offside is because Tyron Mings bringing it down. How many touches is a new three? phase of play? Yeah, uh, Two, well, that's three. what the rule says. Three, yeah, is a new phase of play. Yeah. So as far as the rules go, it's a good goal. Yeah. I, I think it's just a weird. Are you saying it was a good goal and it should stand? Or well, no, because uh, when but we the, when but we that's discussed what the rules say that's what I'm saying. The rules wrong. Yeah, I think they they have so many things wrong with the game today. If it was a rule or not, oh, they, they, I, I think it's a goal either way. They've you know? they've dabbled and pissed about with it too much with all the rules, with all the different rules. What see? All right, what Rodri did. I think if Aguero does that, you go, oh wow, that's intelligent. Because, like Aguero does, he, or what he used to do a lot, he used to sit outside yeah. until the defenders came up to him. So no one was marking him while he was outside. So does that, does that slight confusion between oh who's picking him up when we go on side because they're just trying to stay in the line and going mm-hmm. back and then when a cross comes in, it's it's an intelligent forward. So I'm not saying Rodri did it intelligently. He was Rodri, lazy. I think, was being maybe a he was lazy. just stopping yeah. the play from going forward. And lazy it. and and well, it was Mings, right? Yeah. Tyrone Mings. Like we said, if that's the rule and what everyone's complaining about, oh, I'll just stick my forward 10 yards up, then Mink can just header it and now he's four yeah, yards away from the ball. Yeah, here's, here's the thing. So if Mings would have headed it back to the keeper and Rodri intercepted... It's offside because it's going the same direction. That's not the rule. That's not, not the rule. Offside. He still wouldn't have been oh, no, offside. No, no, no. That- See that that I think that would have been more controversial because then it would be. But it's, did it's he mean to head it back to the keeper or did it scrape off his head and then is it still a pass from because it went the same direction? But no, what happened he wouldn't was have been, he wouldn't have been offside. But what happened was the ball was going this way. Mm-hmm. Ming stopped it, brought it down, had a touch. You know, now yeah. the, the game is completely open, and then Rodri just. That's what the rules are saying. I mean, don't don't get me wrong. Like I, I I wouldn't. I'm not arguing it was offside. I just came with the intentions to argue against you because I thought you were going to argue it was offside. Oh, no. I I said the second... I know. I know. We spoke, I'm, yeah. I'm confused about... It just seems like everyone's on this boss you, you of don't just think it should be? Yeah, you don't think it should be as controversial as it was? Yeah. It's you, think just, it, you think no, it was... It's okay. anyone that can complain about well, anything to be fair, now, if they, the, they will. Yeah, if the and rules like, state oh, it's their fault. Yeah. The, the higher-ups. And, no, and the higher-ups yeah. don't see, answer See, anyone, for me, so. I think she should go back to old school... And say, all, all this, was he interfering with play? Was he in that phase? I think it should have been, once it was headed forward, he's in an offside position. Put your flag up, so and the, he's offside. Yeah, but what if... Okay, here's a, here's a conversation that, that I just want to hash out, though. If Rodri didn't go for the ball, Mings took it down, Mings lost possession, and to, I don't know, whoever, Bernardo Silva again or whatever, and then Bernardo Silva plays it to Rodri while Rodri's onside... Is that that's a new phase of play, right? Yeah. Rodri's Rodri's so 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 the the confusion is where does there's still phases of play in the old school rule, rules? Okay, but don't, don't. yeah, yeah, but but if 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 he's offside and the flag goes up straight away, nothing else can happen except take the take a foul for a free kick for the offside. Yeah, but then is they it, stopped that because linesmen linesmen were doing bad jobs. They basically had VAR came. Linesmen in. are basically powerless now, aren't they? Uh, yeah, so absolutely, but. But the whole thing... See, your argument is going back to the old school rules, which, in my opinion, are very wrong. Because, all right, let's say... I, I don't know what Rodri was doing, but let's say someone went down injured, stayed on the pitch, got up, you know, got a knock or something, was just trickling over here. The defense has been brought up. A whole new couple of minutes yeah, have gone to be by. Fair, Aguero, and then they go, yeah. they go by, and, you know, they, they set up a new player, and then now Aguero comes back onside, and then... Yeah, but some they of them don't come back on side. And they come back well, on But score. that's the thing about the rule. The, the ball can be played inside the fullback to Sterling. And Aguero can be 20 yards offside where he's closed the keeper down and walking back. And then because it hasn't gone to Aguero in that offside position, it's gone to Sterling. Aguero can still get involved in the next phase of play where Sterling crosses it. Where the defence have already pushed up to keep Aguero offside. Now, he's ahead that- of the defence. They're never going to get back. To cover him, even if Sterling cuts it backwards or, or he stays behind the ball to, for the tapping. You know, the fact that he has been in an offside position. Oh, no. Yeah, but being in that offside position hinders his team more than it does. Because now, now they say, have 10 let's men. Say Rodri, let's say the ball didn't go to Mings. It went over the top wide. 
Rodri didn't come back. He stayed there in the and outside Sterling, position. Yeah. Let's say it went wide to a winger. Like, like yeah, say that's Sterling, exactly what I was saying. And then he crosses saying. it for Rodri, mm-hmm. who's unmarked, to put in. He's on that's still That's still onside. He's yeah. on side, yeah. the real goal. Which is what I'm saying. The old school should be, if anybody's gaining an advantage, being in an offside position, when the ball gets played forward... They should be offside. Why? I, I do kind of get that actually. Why? Because you're yeah. offside. Yeah, I know, but yeah, but there's a more of a disadvantage than an advantage for that. The only reason he wasn't back in play, and plus it's Rodri, your defensive midfielder. You have ten men defending the ball now, so him being back there isn't a tactical play. You have an Aguero. 10, 15 yards above people isn't a tactical play because Aguero needs to come get the ball and, and it doesn't you, matter who it is Aguero does Aguero. that Aguero well, that's, has, yeah. well, no but that's what I'm saying you now have less men so the only time that him being that many yards offside the only time it's an advantage is when you get the ball back straight away from that team losing possession and right. they still have that high line right. that's the only time and that's one in very few because who? you now have less people I've seen many goals. I've course, seen many of goals course, but that, like that, where the centre forward is is in an offside position. Yeah, has put his hands up, and mm-hmm. the ball's gone to someone else. And now, because he's been in an offside position, That's true. Yeah, defenders yeah. can't get back to catch him. So, what does Rodri do? Does he because he was close to Mings? Does he just slightly jog past Mings? But the second he gets past Mings, is he not allowed? No, to No, when he's got back there, and... I'm suggesting that when the ball went to Mings, he was 10, 15 yards offside. So then he and then so he's then controlled Mings, and he's he's made it back and so I'm, I'm, had look, I'm not saying according yards. to the rules it's a good goal, but I'm saying if if for me uh, yeah yeah I know what he's saying right what let's say it was a centre forward or somebody in a centre he was in a centre forward position of course yeah that's and the ball doesn't that. it goes over Mings not to him to someone yeah. else he's now he can now okay. get on to the his, to but the, the ball, pivotal point the of the whole thing is Mings having possession right so here's here's a good and question then say, say we had off, uh, old school rules and the same situation happened what does Rodri have to wait for before he can challenge for the, the ball eventually changed. wherever it is well he doesn't they, they put the flag up they whistle they give the offside but if, if he goes in for the challenge but he's 10 no, just, anyway just anyway when the ball comes forward well no he's oh. 15 yards behind the play so why would they now that now that Villa let him get, let him get 10, back at, why yeah, would they yeah. let Rodri get back yeah to defend the ball but no look I'm saying the linesman puts his flag up so they know it's offside if the ref decides to let it play on then that's up to him but if Rodri gets the ball, then it's off. Then it's called as an offside. Like if Rodri does go for the ball. Well, if he yeah, if he but gets involved. Yeah. How how far does Rodri get to be onside or back in play for him to take the ball? Can Tyro Mings literally just stand there with the ball and let Rodri just trip no, up? No, it's it's confusing. Well, that's why I'm saying they're trying to cover all the angles. That's why I think this has to be a goal. And in, in trying to cover all the angles, the cock and everything up. It's just kind of refreshing. I, I, it's, I it's, think I think they did this 100 percent correct. It's kind of refreshing. No, I, do, I do as well. But I'm saying I would not. I would have the old school rules. It's kind of refreshing arguing about the rules, not talking about handball or offside, isn't it? Oh, we well, are talking well, about the second offside. one was handball, yeah. wasn't it? <laughs> no, no, yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> the second one was well, handball, and it's a good job the second one happened. Yeah, because the ref would have got fucking. Yeah, but we're not talking. We're not talking for, about VAR, are we? But Dean Smith got sent off for um <laughs> what? No, I just. I, I just completely disagree with you. That's all. Me? No. That, oh yeah. For I about have, about going back to the old school offside rule. Yeah. That's all I said. I'm saying it was a good goal. There's so many faults in that old offside rule. There's so many holes in that offside rule that you're talking well, about. Well, it, it lasted for for years and years. And there's mate. a reason they haven't done it. It's like no, they tried, back they to, tried the to change everything. Yeah. Yeah, they, they try to change everything for the better. And yeah, I agree that they most of the time do a terrible job, but. <laughs> On what? On the offsides? On the on the handball? On and the on the linesman? Not putting his flag up until you see what's exactly. happening. Yeah. That, so so yes, everything they cocked up on everything. Yeah, but, I know yeah, that's what I'm saying. I think this one. Thing, so that's not a point. Just, this then, one. Is it? That well, that's why I just, just said. Just, I think they mess up on everything. Yeah. And this is the one that they got just, correct. Just to say too, I, when I said not talking about offside or handball, I meant the offside arm bullshit. Yeah, yeah, like yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. this is a weird one because I mean, how often does this really happen? It doesn't. I haven't you seen know? that happen before. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, and then the second one offside, there's no complaint. I'm still saying it's I mean, a good goal. I'm still saying it's a good goal. You can't chalk it yeah, up because of what I know, the rules I say. I know, yeah. Because of what the rules I say. I know, but yeah. no, it's not I'm like... I'm just saying I don't agree with the rules. It's not like... All right, so think about Rodri. It's not like he knew the rules but beforehand. But now you, you're like, I know that. Kinda, kinda, Rodri's gone in his mind and gone, yeah. I'm allowed to get that ball because he's taken too long. Has right. he really known? 
Probably. Has he really known what the rule is? No, no. Or has he just gone for the ball either naturally? That, that's well, what well, I just look, said. Or, I just or, said he doesn't know or, the rule. Or he realises out of position and, and if he gives away the free And he wants kick, to stop them playing, playing yeah. while he gets back in position. So it's one or the other. I, I don't think... I does mean, he, that's does a he think, does he think when he gets that. it, the ref's going to stop it and say, no, you've come from an offside position? Well, either or, way, if you're him, why not? You'd go for it either just way. Just do it anyway, yeah. Has it worked out for Why? You're a defensive mid. Why not? I mean, you shouldn't be doing what you're doing unless you are actually really hurt. But, you know, get back and... Was he hurt you'd or go was for he the coming ball. back from something else? I mean, the play... I don't think he was down. I, I for some reason, I can't remember. The play was so far, like, up that he, he had to have been sitting down. <clears throat> I don't know. don't remember. But, um, Dean, yeah, Dean Smith clearly... I mean, he's kind of an old-school manager, isn't he? So, I mean, he probably thought the same as well, you. Well, no, it, I mean, it's the rule itself he was he was complaining about. But you get sent itself. off for the... Why are you smiling at me? Because he got sent off for a rule that I think is 100% right. Okay, but I'm because just saying... Because he just wanted the bitch. I'm just saying, why get... You know? I, don't think, I don't think Dean Smith knew the rule. I think he thought I don't it was think, outside. I don't think anyone knew the rule, and Rodri just assumed he was allowed to have it. And they go look it up, and they're like, yeah, you are allowed to do that because it, it's correct. Anyway, I, I, just, <laughs> I just can't believe that the question in the handball. Yeah, that's the ridiculous. Yeah. See, I think that's why the the um, the other one kind of got yeah it got so much traction yeah yeah I mean I mean look I'd be saying this if it happened against Chelsea as well I it, I think it's yeah we can shut up about it I'm just I'm just yeah I'm just happy about the two 0 win I mean Villa have been a, a decent side considering how shitty and diving they should have got re- relegated and. Yeah, I mean, McGinn was just a dickhead. Oh, here's another thing. De Bruyne injured. Kyle Walker injured. I thought both from Jack Grealish. I don't think so. I don't think no, De Bruyne was. No, De Bruyne I don't think De Bruyne was. I the, think he, he pulled up. He looked like he was pulling up yeah. and then he stayed for a little bit. But Jack Grealish definitely... The, and he it was made the, the way the contact was, yeah. with his foot, but I don't believe it's his foot, is yeah. it? Yeah. I don't believe that was the yeah, injury. You would be better off if it, if it was his foot. Yeah, because it would just be a knock. Yeah. Um, but McGinn going and the, down the Cal like Walker thing was a dead leg, mate. Yeah, it was sort of knee in the just below the arse cheek. So yeah, yeah, I know. You, you get know. hit in one of those like with them calves, yeah. with it's, them legs. Yeah, that's true. But that's the problem. Like the problem with me, it, Grealish, it's not. He's that, done like an opposite Harry Kane. He's he? like, he, it's like he'll go in and and be physical when he's going for the ball. But then he'll fall down like a, you know, it's just, it doesn't make sense. I'd rather him not be. Do you I get what I'm saying? I'd rather, I'd rather talk about, if you're going to mention him else. at all, you know, I'd rather talk about how how good Phil Foden looked when yeah. he drifted inside, yeah. when he was playing through balls from the middle, middle of the field. Yeah. And is that not another option now? It should, yeah, 100% should be. You know be. what I mean? So, so when you can't fit all the front men in there together. You know, Bernardo Silva, Mara, Sterling, Jesus, whatever. Is that an option now to drop Phil Foden into that Gundogan role as well? I would play him instead of Gundogan. Or, not or right Gundogan now. and him. And well, not, all right, Gundogan, and, yeah. And let Gundogan be the, the one who sits. I mean, right now, they're not but, really needing the whole midfield Gundogan, player. Gundogan isn't going to sit, though, is he? No, no, but I'm saying that, look, maybe you do need... But then again, I still would have you, a Fernandinho as well. If you go, I mean, if you stick Rodri there, I think that's too many plays. And you, got, you have well, like ninety percent possession. Gundogan can his, go up his, as well. Where I, got, yeah. where I got myself stuck is you can't. I can't leave Gundogan out right now. Yeah, exactly. you can't. That's yeah. where I got myself his, stuck. Here's yeah. here's the thing though. You play. You could play. Um, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Can we, can we have here's, here's can the we, thing everybody can we, stop can we have one more player <laughs> yeah no but alright yeah you can't leave Gundogan out that's tough Foden though if he drops back he's you, you he have, would be doing David Silva's role from last year like, I think, that, I think that's what he looked like in the cup yeah uh, you know he's like a mix between not like like he's better than Bernardo Silva and not as good as David Silva, he, but he's like a mix yeah, between he, how yeah. the... he drives forward like Bernardo Silva, but he can like pick out not nobody can pick out passes like David he, Silva, he, but he, yeah, he, he like turns like David Silva. Yeah, yeah. He's got yeah, but um yeah, so I mean, and against Cheltenham too, that he he got the equalizer, didn't he? He's, you you have to play. It wasn't just that; that's him getting forward. Yeah, from, from 
if you know the wider position. But I think you have to play him over Gunnowin right now, even though Gunnowin's in. Yeah, that I would form. as well. If if you had to have a holding midfield player and to get the, well, to be fair, well, De Bruyne is no, out now. Well, De Bruyne is out now. Yeah. So you got Gunnowin and Foden. Yeah. Is it? I think five to six weeks. I read about De Bruyne, which, which sucks. You know, I, I saw a lot of people saying too, like the Cheltenham game. Oh, this is how City are going to look without De Bruyne. I don't think that was. People are still. You know, I, it's like we've played without De Bruyne before. He's key to the team, but I mean, like you didn't have. Uh, I mean, Diaz didn't start. We've started Garcia, who to me should have been gone. I mean, why is, is he it, gone? I'm still saying he's going to be gone, but... He, he needs to go. He needs to go right now. He, he needs to be left out. He needs to be... Who's that, sorry? I Eric, like, Eric I like what Pep said, by the way. What was that? When he went about, you know, you're looking at centre-forward, you know, you, that's what yeah. you've, sort of, you've been mm-hmm. lacking that. And exactly. he went, oh, I don't know. No, I just need Aguero. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Which is great. Because Aguero's um, contract's up, isn't it? Yeah, there's talk about Barcelona, doesn't it? Yeah, but he's gonna he's gonna do he's gonna stay at City for three more years. He'll sign again. It's gonna be yeah. a year contract each time. Yeah, he'll he'll sign again. I know. He'll I know he will. Keep proving himself, and I'm confident he will. I, look I mean, all, look especially all these players look, passing thirty five that are doing, still doing quality. Here's the thing: know? if City if City weren't confident about Aguero signing another contract, they'd be in for Haaland Anyone or someone they wanted, big yeah. right now. Yeah. You know. And and we were Giroud. what twenty five. <laughs> 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 right. Well, uh, we we're what twenty five twenty. How, I don't even know what date it is. Twenty five five days into the yeah. transfer window, and oh oh, in for Lukaku is the last rumor I heard. That's terrible. Which I don't understand. Eighty million I read was the price. I'm, I'm sure I said I would have taken him from United if I was City. I would. And you didn't agree with me then. No. He's, he's not. I just think. Look, I think somebody like him, who's a, who's a selfish, natural goal scorer. I don't think he's a natural put him goal in, scorer. Put him in a team. Well, his goals say he's a natural goal scorer. What, in right? Italy? Yeah. I mean, no, he's, he scored for Man United. He scored for Everton. He scored for. Yeah. yeah. I don't think well, his. I think I think his West Brom Everton. West Brom. West Brom I think Everton I, phase was the best he'll ever do because he just. I think he's. See, look, but what's he like in a side? What's he like in a side like City? No, no, that creates. He's too, too, that, too, true, too, that, too selfish. I mean? Too selfish. I would say in more ways but, than well, one. I do believe that. But you say that, and he's in. A, he's he's been in Belgium, which some could argue I, at I've that said, time. I've where, said it about him before. If you need a lone striker, he's the one that... I'm not sure if he has what he had right now, mm-hmm. but pace and power. He has no and, and has to create his own goals, or is capable yeah. of creating his own goals, he, as well as if he was in a good he side. Does, he, he does that with power. He, he doesn't, has no yeah. pace To me, he, he wouldn't fit City's system. Like Aguero, The reason but, Aguero fits is because Aguero <clears throat> pulled defenders out. Uh, Lukaku would, wouldn't... Lukaku doesn't have that aware that positional awareness Aguero Luka- has. Lukaku bullies centre backs. No, bullies though. them up there. I'm just saying when Aguero drops deep, you see him playing like almost course, a false yeah. nine. Yeah, but it's, if, if you're a good, it's team, crucial. Which Jesus has to learn, and he's and he's just, you know, Gabriel Jesus recently has just been like, I know he scored against Cheltenham, and you know he looked frustrated when he scored. He looked, he looked like, I, like I need to like okay, keep so this up. I kind of agree with you because not that I think um, I'm honoured. Look- <laughs> Not that I think Lukaku is a better player than Jesus, but I think Lukaku would like thrive more in a City team because yeah, yeah, he would yeah. get. I think a, he would Lukaku, get all those chances. Lukaku would throw a fit if he wasn't being passed. The I, I'm telling you, I, and you mm. can't knock him for it. Jesus works his balls off. Oh yeah, but for me, does too much running around. Yeah, but he's. They too, need. Yeah. A, I think they they sort of need a focal point. I know we've won so many games playing the false nine. Without any centre forward, but I do believe that you need that one natural well, player. If you no. have if you have eighty percent of the ball and Lukaku is not the highest worker, um, he doesn't have to like. I disagree. I disagree. I, I know. I, I know where you're going. Yeah. Look, Aguero. When Aguero's on the pitch, he plays a false nine. I'm not. I'm he, not saying instead of Aguero. No, I'm not saying. Oh yeah, no one's well, I'm saying just, that. No, no, but here's what I'm saying. If you want the success we had when Aguero was 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 roaring, you need another Aguero. You need to roaring, <laughs> roaring. Well, no, no, I no, I, 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 I disagree yeah. with that because 
Um, now you have the option of putting it in the air, which City which is, haven't had for like 10 that's, years. That's Never super had. sub, though. He, Jacko. No, no, it's not. It it's, is. It's not like Jacko. Oh, because he's more than Jacko, isn't he? And you, I like Jacko. Each year, each year, Man City gets better with, if we with bought, keeping if the If we bought right? Lukaku, we'd be selling them again in, in no. the next two See, seasons. See, Lukaku's, Lukaku's not the best finisher, but every... He's a great finisher. No, no, he's not. He's just not the answer a- for everything me. He, every shot he has or anything, header, no matter what, or even just being in the box, everything is power. So even those shots, I mean, if I you think, look at I think goals, he'd be the perfect foil. Uh, and I, I'm starting to I think s- that. You I don't think I so. said that a while back. I it's think a, he'd be it's the a perfect risk, foil. It's I, a risk. It's, it's, he, it's he, not, would, he would be leading scorer in that league every season if he played. I'd put money that he wouldn't. He's not that I'd put money that he wouldn't. See, Honestly, I, I, look, I think, how, many, how, many, how many chances created? You look now, I think we, we've, I think we've created the most chances in the, in the league, haven't we? And not got the most goals, or not even close. See, see, the thing with Lukaku is, you have to, even though he's not the best technically, you have to almost put your best defender on him at all times okay. because he will, he will. Well, there's nullify benefits. That I'm order. not saying there's no benefits. But, yeah. No, I know. That's what I'm saying. It's it may be just that one. Like like I said, I don't think he's better than the forwards that City have, but he may just be the perfect piece. To, I, to to that city yeah. team that that they're making because he, I, I he honestly brings, just, I'm, I'm only saying he I, brings a whole new thing. To I'm only saying I wouldn't swap him for a fully fit Aguero. No, I'm that, not saying no, that. I'm no, saying no, now while we've no. missed him, yeah. And how long is he going to be out more? And how long is it going to take him to get back? And is Pep going to wrap him in cotton wool well, in still, case it happens I again? I, there's better options than Lukaku out there. If you're paying eighty million for Lukaku, would you not play the pay the one twenty for Haaland? A hundred percent. I would. What's the age difference there? Well, I mean, what's the? You know what I mean? Like, I think like nine years. Holland, Holland, Holland will do. Than yeah, Holland will do Lukaku's what Lukaku does done. and more. Holland will do what of Lukaku course. does and uh, some of what. I'm, I'm not disagreeing with that. Yeah, but, that's what but I'm saying. If I'm he th- became available and Holland wasn't available, yeah. Well, you, I would so take you, him. so you, if you had to pick top strikers that if you could, if City could sign anyone right now, also Mbappe. Mbappe's name has been thrown in the mix. I don't want to go down another messy yeah, you're, road. You're writing more checks out there, don't you? Well, yeah, but I'm saying checks. Mbappe doesn't play up top by himself. Mbappe says he he's would. called you out could, to Real no, Madrid. No, no, no. Mbappe's going to go to Real so, Madrid. Okay, right? but the thing that stirred Mbappe the Mbappe, the, Mbappe, the, the thing that the thing that stirred Mbappe's rumors is that he said he wants to try the Premier League out <clears throat> this past week. That's what he said, supposedly. If he does, he's going to be. Who's he go to? Who can afford him? It doesn't matter. He's going to be the best player Look, in the world if, for the next 10 it, years. It doesn't matter where he plays, on the left, in the middle. If Mbappe became available for, for this chunk of change that City are looking to spend on a striker, they would spend it on him all day. You know what I mean? It, there, there's just so many other players than Lukaku. I mean, whether that's true or that's not. Of I, course, but... I'm not going to get sucked the, into more... That's my that's my point. It's kind of like the whole... Um, you know, it, it's kind of like how Giroud is with Chelsea right now. You think, oh, Giroud, why, why would he start, you know, Abraham scoring all these goals and that? Or we could have Werner up there who's lightning, you know? And yeah, they are both in ruts, but Giroud is just, he's just like, you can fit him into a team. You know, he, he is he is the final, he's the cherry on top, you know? He's you, like, don't think, you don't think Mbappe would be that for any team in the, Mb- every Mbappe, single team in the no, Premier not, League, I think? Not, in, not a lone striker. I, but no. he's not a lone striker when no. City have possession, is it? Is well, it? I know, but, don't, yeah, I know, but when it's, He's more of that independent player where give me the ball, I'll go and take on two, three people, yeah, and but, then we'll score. But that's what it's City not, need directness right now. I think City have too much to the ball to where it's like you wouldn't look if you were in charge of City signings. If you were, uh, let's say you know, let's say you were Pep. I know there's other hands involved, and they, Pep just gives him sure, a style yeah. of player. But if you were in charge, and Mbappe became available for. I don't know what his fee would be, right? But like, let's say. But we also don't know what fit, what what City can spend right now. I mean, who knows the the, the okay, amount of money yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. So you would you got Mbappe, I'm, you've got oh, yeah, Holland, yeah. you got Lukaku. Considering the price tags they would bring, I no, mean, no, no, no. You sign Mbappe over anyone. That's my ever, point. But you never play Mbappe up top by himself. It, it, I think I think they've got more of a need for. Haaland and, and Lukaku my than point, a need for Mbappe right now exactly. but you wouldn't yeah. not, but you wouldn't not it's like Messi Messi isn't a, 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 yeah, yeah, a striker exactly. is he yeah, but you'd yeah. buy him in a heartbeat of if course. he became available see, see I, I think if we you sign Mbappe you still need to sign a centre forward exactly and you don't have that money if, you, exactly, if you're paying yeah. a 
for Mbappe. I think if you... I think we'd sign a centre forward. We've still got them type of players who play in a position that Mbappe plays. I think you, it, I think if you stuff? sign I think if you sign Mbappe, you play Jesus there. You're still going to get more goals out of See, the pair of them with instead of I'm not, Sterling. If he stops or, wondering. If Jesus stops wondering. Jesus is trying to do what Aguero does, though, by wondering. Aguero literally does the same thing. Aguero wanders and pulls defenders I don't think he wanders out. as much, though, mate. He doesn't wander He's, as much. No, but Aguero will literally walk. You know what I mean? Like, he'll walk into that false nine position. I think Je- Jesus is finding his footing, you know? I, I, I don't think he's... I it's, think, been, it's been a long time. Yeah, now, how long mate. is he finding his footing for? It's not an easy system to get into, though. It, you, to, you, it, especially you, since Pep doesn't, Pep's system doesn't really... This is what I'm saying. If Lukaku was there, it's like... He's trying to pass the ball into the goal, Pep. Right? Yeah. And Lukaku my point doesn't exactly. call for that. Lukaku calls for no, crosses. No, he no, gives no, you no, an no. option, though. No, 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 no. Yeah, but an Luka- option is no. Lukaku has a better striker instinct than um, Jesus, and all the goals that Jesus scores, these like again age difference, though. You know, like it, it... oh, okay, but yeah, but like we said earlier in the podcast, full circle. Everything's about results, you know. It's like yeah. they need it right here and now. But City again, results. So what, I know, what's but, the problem? Yeah, I know. But then they they st- like the Premier League. So is West Ham, mate. You Premier can't League say they don't need other players. Yeah, yeah. But yeah I mean, but the Premier League's not enough for City, is it? No, no. Uh, Lukaku in it. Look, it, 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 it's, but it's a, nobody knows. It's, Lukaku's more dangerous. <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening, is it? We're having a hypothetical. But you can't and Lukaku be, in your team, I I say they win the Champions League. I, I'm also you, you nah, can't be happy. I, you can't be happy with what's happening in the Premier League. I'm not even. Ha- I even as a Chelsea fan, I still think about the Champions League. And yeah, you, you right, have to right, do that. Tenfold. So yeah, Lukaku is more dangerous in the box. It just, I just than I'd rather is. wait. I'd Jesus rather, is a better player. I'm not saying. But, I'm not. I'm not saying it's nobody's saying it's either Lukaku or Jesus. I'm just saying Lukaku to me isn't the man. There's better options, but he, also he's a he's a great fit though. I, he, and do do you deny a great fit? I don't for think he's a, a potential. Pep, I don't think he's a Pep Mbappe kind of player, right? Remember Ibrahimovic at Barca when Pep Every, was there. Everyone's a Pep kind of. player. No, no, Pep will just well, like no. won't play you if Pep, you're not a Pep, Pep kind of player. Pep at Barca, yeah, I know, but Pep at Barca he had Messi, Xavi, and, and Iniesta that he had to uh, mold the team around them. Right. So if Ibrahimovic being the person that he was, you can't have that two. You can't have two superstars in the team, and you can't. He couldn't build the team around Ibrahimovic. He couldn't start putting balls into the box. Or he's not going to build or, the team out of, uh, uh, around Lukaku, though. I know, but Lukaku can uh, can slide into that place. Um, Ibrahimovic couldn't slide into that Barcelona he's, team. He's a good option. He's not the answer for me. No, I'm not saying it's the answer is get a great up fit and keep him fit. Yeah, yeah or Harlan. I, I, there's <clears throat> there's other players I would go for over of Lukaku. Lutaro there's Martinez. There's other players I'd go for. I'd go for Harlan. Lutaro to- Martinez from Inter as well. I would go for him over Lukaku as well. Well, I don't agree with that. Martinez, no. He's more. He's, he's the Argentinian. He's more. He's more of a, a Guerrero's stature. <clears throat> You're changing your system by bringing in Lukaku. He's a completely no. different player. No, I, I don't believe no, you are, no, mate. No, I don't, I don't believe you are. I, th- I think way, the f- what fly, we're missing yeah. now is somebody being in that position. Yeah, being a that's what I'm I saying. Don't get, I'm I, don't, I don't want to get... I think a lot of people are getting, you know, dreamy about Lukaku's scoring record in Serie A right now. And it's like... See, I'm, it, I'm not even considering that. You need a... Pre- like, Aguero's a presence in the box. I Jesus do. isn't a presence in, presence in the box. Lukaku is a presence in the box. Yeah. And that's that's what you need, <clears throat> considering you have and the ball all the time. We get the ball don't... to the box. Exactly. Yeah, I'm just I'm okay. I Look, mean, if if it, you're it, not going to change my mind. Lukaku is not the answer for City in my mind right now. <laughs> I'm saying, in, in my no, no, opinion, no, yeah. no, Lukaku yeah, yeah, is yeah. not the player. I, no, I get what you mean, especially for 80 I, million. For 40 million, yeah, Lukaku all day. Not 80 million. I mean, the price. No. He's not. He's not worth. I don't. That. I, don't right. I don't. I don't. I don't see the reason, it's, even if right. he has scored goals at, right, but at Inter. It, it, I don't see the reason that his his fee shoots back up again. No. To be fair, but as you're getting older, it does. That's what I'm saying. It does. Goals. That's all it is. It's just. I, I would take Haaland over him any day right now. Of course, yeah. Uh, but right. would you pay eighty million? But he's for a the different Champions type of player. League yeah, but Lukaku trophy. is not the Champions League trophy. <clears throat> well, well, this is what I was just saying before. Ha- like, all right, let's put for- this one to bed after this. Okay, uh, okay. Can I forget about the? Can I forget about the Premier League? <clears throat> look I'm- at look at your Bayern Munich. Yeah. Okay. Look at your Juventus. Look at Lukaku. Somewhat fix Barca that. and yeah. Madrid. Uh, Lukaku's not at any of those teams, first of all, right? So 
You're talking you about mean? like City. I'm saying how, how do you City could go for any, against City those could teams. go for the players at those teams, right? Jesus doesn't do it against any of those teams. I'm not teams. saying he does. I'm not saying we we don't need a striker. I'm just saying at for 80 million euro or whatever it is, Lukaku's not the answer. The pr- would you turn down doesn't... Benzema? No. Honestly, I would I would take Benzema over Lukaku. That that's a tough one. I, I Benzema's uh, a natural goal scorer. He's, That's a, a, he's a player who can create for himself. Exactly. Yeah, That's what I'm exactly. saying. A stronger type of centre forward who holds that central and area. You know, and you know what? He'll, even after like Ronaldo left <clears> and um, Ozil left, because he, he was never he got he never got the or when Bale left as well, he never got the praises because he was he plays like Firmino pretty much for yeah. Liverpool. Uh, like how they do at Liverpool, I think he'll get all the respect. From the Premier League. Well, here's the thing, though. But like, if he does what he what he does, yeah. You know? I mean, Aguero bangs him in, but Aguero similarly does Firmino roles at times by pulling by 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 no. dropping deeper. He, he does against the worst teams. I'm just saying, Benzema, Benzema would do similar things but, by dropping in and pulling centre backs. Aguero out. dropping back like that when you have the <laughs> likes. If you are playing Foden and Banana Silva and De Bruyne, yeah. Aguero dropping back like that is only going to hinder you. Cause Stone all right, well, I don't agree because it, it, does, it literally doesn't. That's how that's well, how we know, won the league you, uh, two years ago. All right, but Aguero, I, like I just said, Aguero does that against the worst of teams. You, Sterling and Mares or whoever else is up there can't survive by themselves. So Aguero coming back, but Aguero trying, still gets up. I'm saying, I'm saying in the build up of the play, like yeah, but Aguero's not Benzema like, does Aguero's that. Not a, like a, a footballer, like like I hate to say this, but I don't think uh, okay. E- either way. Ideally, Aguero gets fit. He's not going to. No, yeah, no one's saying Aguero. Uh, but I would, I would take. There's multiple players I would take over at 80 million euro Lukaku. All right, let's move on. Multiple players. I just thought the price. T- I thought and, price tags and, don't matter to and, City and Chelsea. You know, like well, the, and well Madrid. And yeah, they do because the you're, you're considering what you're going to go for after. If it's just a stopgap, and also Ben Lukaku's Maybe, yeah. Lukaku's been in the Premier League. At United, which is also kind of like West soured Brown. for him. West Brom, Everton, and Chelsea, right? Yeah. And he obviously, he he did okay. He's a good player, but there's a reason he's in Syria. Because he had because he did the Man United thing. Well, okay, but Benz- and that ruined yeah, his career. But I'm just Sanchez saying, I did would, the same thing. If it Sanchez was, was amazing. If it was Benzema Lukaku, same price. I know Benzema's a little older. Let's say you account you mean, some of the price. You mean price Ashley Young didn't go there to better his career? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Alexi Sanchez, all, all of them. It's like. You know, well, yeah, the I would have took him at one stage. Well, we, yeah, but that was price, user, wasn't it? User begging for him at one stage. No, not begging for him. We had the deal lined up, and United came over the top. No, of he the got price. greedy. He got greedy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He got same, greedy same with for 50 Fred. Grand a week. Same with Fred. Fred oh, I is what, Fred. I know Fred that, that was a. That I'm was surprised a, Fred doesn't play for Arsenal. That was a lucky escape, but we were in for Fred when he was at Shakhtar. We played them in the Champions League. We were in for Fred, and as soon as we said Fred, United come in for Fred. Good. Consider yeah, that's a one-one then. That's yeah. the best transfer deal City did. <laughs> yeah. yeah. All right, son. <laughs> that was that was a bit of a long one. Well, something that yeah. isn't going to happen. Yeah, well, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> On hypothetical shit, the offside rule that doesn't matter because it is the rule is the rule. Well, no, that, that not that it doesn't matter. If the rule's wrong, then then we try to change it. Hey, I'm, hey look, I'm just happy now. I've got three teams in the top seven. Yeah. Arsenal coming up on the rails. <laughs> so with the closing days, it's not falling off the, the rails. The closing days of the transfer window. Then let's let's we'll steer clear of City because we just hammered that to death. Chelsea one signing, <clears throat> and then West Ham one signing. All right. What you get to pick one? I mean, forget about budgets, but Giroud. keep it realistic. You know what I mean? Like you know, realistic. You know, you're not gonna sign like Messi, but see, I heard uh, like you do with rumors about Haaland. I don't think that's realistic for Chelsea. No. <laughs> I think Tony Tuchel. <laughs> that's Thomas, Thomas, T- Thomas Tuchel, yeah. Little Tommy, yeah, that? when you said that, when you said <laughs> that earlier, that's what... It reminded me of, uh, what's the one from uh, Screw... Uh, Tiny from Tim. Sc- Tiny Tim. Yeah. From, um, yeah. <laughs> Screw from Scrooge. Yeah, yeah, from, from Scrooge, a Christmas yeah. T- story. Yeah, I was, I was trying to make a joke about Tiny, that earlier. Tiny but, Tim yeah. Tuchel. Yeah. It's going to come in on a crutch. I mean, oh, oh uh, also before we go sorry uh, think think about those for a second we do have one uh, uh we we have a question from a uh wait, so, what about, from a listener what about for arsenal though as well oh you could do arsenal as well i'm just thinking i mean arsenal are basically going to get relegated so it's like uh, what 
<laughs> Talking about top of the half table team. <laughs> and he'll still keep his job. Yeah. <clears throat> Arsenal Arsenal need too much. It's like So You're killing Obama. Yeah. That's if you if if you need more time we can go to the question. If you want to think about that that transfer. Go on, go to the question. Yeah. Alright, the question uh from Stuart G on, on Twitter at StewieGod3. <clears throat> um what was Ian's best bit of advice he was given trying to make it in the game and by whom? Um, well, I used to look at how he sort of resurrected my career and and it was actually no advice that was the best thing he could do for me because he would say to me before a game, go and do your stuff, which meant that he trusted me and had faith in me and, and, and belief that I would go and try and run a game, you know, try and run the show. But I, I think the best advice I did get was don't be afraid to fail, you know. Um, and that was early on in my career. And that was from, I think it was Graham Smith, who was the youth team coach at Everton. You know, if you don't try it, you know, you you can't succeed. So just lose the fear to fail and don't be scared. And I think that is the, the one thing that I tried to pass on to the kids that I trained. You know, don't be afraid to fall down. You don't know what it's like to win till you taste defeat. You don't know the joys of, of success until you face defeat. So that's the thing for me because I have seen people fail and not make it because of a fear, of a fear to try things. And even to the extent when I took players over to, to England to be looked at by other clubs, it took them maybe four or five clubs to realise that, hold on a minute, I'm fitting in, I'm fitting in, I'm fitting in. But my advice was you have to stand out. So they were they were too scared to fail really, rather than to to stand out every day and try things and 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 knowing and explaining to them the players that are already there at them times in the academies are already signed. You don't have to go and be their friend. You know, you have to go and beat them every day until you sign that contract also. And then you can decide to be their friend. You know, mm -hmm. you are still getting there. But I watched them in training and they would be... And, and the, the most common knockback that we got was they're every bit as good as what we've got. But for them to come in from the outside, from a different country, they have to be better than what we have. Um, it wasn't until too late for some of them. But the one that did sign, it was, you know, the penny dropped. Mm -hmm. And he realised that he had to go in and, and tackle more than anyone and run more than anyone and pass and shoot more than anyone to be seen and be noticed. So that would be the best advice. Don't, don't be afraid to fail. I think that applies to a lot. Like even you know the mm -hmm. listeners, obviously, we don't have many footballers listening. You know, or maybe maybe we do. Aspiring Who knows? footballers. But yeah. I just think people in various roles. I think that applies to you know. I mean, you know, we've got anywhere from we've heard from lorry drivers. We've heard from you know people mm. working other day jobs, and it's like, yeah. I, I mean, not to go from an argument where we're drinking into like some motivational shit like you just spilled but like <laughs> yeah. it's just like that I think that's, that's a good, good yeah I'm glad you're back at me there <laughs> motivational shit I <was> just spilled <laughs> brilliant um, yeah so, so that's my answer anyway whatever you think yeah and I think my one sign in for City would be Lukaku <laughs> I'm just kidding right alright what is it then let's end on this uh one Chelsea? sign in for Chelsea before the window closes. Realistically, the fucking barn door. I can stick in goal so we don't concede anything. Yeah. You know, realistically, you want like a a, a cent You've got enough forwards and strikers. No, and our, our, de our defense for some odd reason has been better than any part. Of I our think other one team. solid centre back would yeah. be. Yeah, like, or a like goal I said, goalkeeper maybe. No, see, see that's the thing. Like got, an experienced goalkeeper. Oh well, no. No, because if your defenders are good enough, you don't need a good goalkeeper. Yeah, but you know? Kepa's not it, and Mendy's... Kep Kepa's a... I know we, I know we fucked up um, a couple of days ago very badly, uh, um, but I, I do genuinely think Kepa is a good keeper. I think there's just too much 
he, every, going every on every game. He has a mistake. I know. Yeah. Okay, and, yeah. No, but okay, I mean, it, look two, at the likes of look at the likes of the hair. When the hair yeah. came to United, he was doing not necessarily the same thing. He wasn't managing the team or anything, but <clears> he um he he would come in and out, have little flitters, uh, flutters, sorry, and um, flitters, flitters, and then all of a sudden it was just like holy shit, the hair is the best keeper mm-hmm. in the world. And then he kind of pulled like a Torres. I think that's got Torres, goalkeepers. You know? It's a weird one, isn't it? Like they're for, they're well, in and out of form really swings. Of course it is because it's. I mean, once you concede a shitty goal, like the whole Robert Green against America, yeah. remember with the one-one, where he, he wasn't even keeper yeah, again. Yeah. He was a decent keeper after that, and then he went and what did he sign for City and just sat on the bench for four years or something? And then no, he came to Chelsea or something. He just it, it was like. He was a decent keeper, mm-hmm. and it's kind of what happened to De Gea. And I keep hating, like I love Henderson, but I, I don't want De Gea to trickle out because mm-hmm. keepers have a longer career than most players. Don't yeah, they, so, they peak later as well. Exactly, and then you, when you have that little special thing, like I know Tim Howard had it, where it was just like, and oh, there's those keepers that just have that little little bit extra. It's like yeah. no one else would have saved that. De Gea has that. Yeah, and especially with his feet, like saving, exactly, saving yeah. with his feet, you know. And I think Keba brings like a tiny bit different thing. He may be too short or whatever. And yeah. then Mendy's just tall and that's it. So I think if Mendy's we... Mendy's letting some howlers. Exactly, yeah. So we have two keepers that aren't the best. But we have Thiago Silva who is could just retire at any time. But, wow. you know, the Premier League's too slow for him. So I do think, yeah, maybe. But then again, Zuma's doing great. So... Yeah, I'm. I'm just, I've just so talked short, for. No, so I've, just, answer. I've just talked for two minutes and okay. I'm getting nothing. <laughs> okay, so one, so one. I guess uh, if if so ask him again. If yeah. if Tiny Timmy Tuchel could bring one person <laughs> from PSG, uh, like obviously I'm realistically. Better, yeah. No, if if he could bring someone in. That Kazao is decent, isn't he? Is he still mm. at PSG? The left back. Yeah. No, we're fine on left backs. <clears throat> I, no, it's not. I think. I mean, you know what? I'm, I'm decent, fine. Kempembe's I'm decent. fine. You know, like yeah, yeah maybe our defense, right, but well, ninth new- place it is. Fine, where we are. Hey, we'll finish higher in the Champions League than you. Um, uh, no, we got a lot to go with. Yeah. Um, no, I think I do think we have the right amount. Like the 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 quality of players are there. I think it is the manager. Yeah. So does Roman Abramovich apparently. Hi. Yeah, sorry. West Ham. West Ham. Would it be wild to say Draxler? Yeah, it would, because he's he's world class. Yeah, but he's it's he's not sort really, of yeah. not not in favour, and you know. Yeah, I w- I would take would it Draxler be wild? Chelsea. He would still. Does that mean he's out of West Ham's league then? I well, that's why. That's I what I'm thinking. Because because when I'm thinking of who would it get right now, who's available? I'm thinking. Uh, are, are they are, are they in a position now, sitting seventh and? To, to, bring maybe, to, to, someone, to yeah. maybe bring in Christian Eriksen. <laughs> Christian Eriksen. <laughs> trap and be like... To attract someone. Oh, yeah. okay. I thought you said trap. No, oh. attract. Okay, that's why I was... They're talking about Eriksen going back to Tottenham. Which would be weird because he was the one who wanted out, but... Well, yeah, but, but... If we're asking who would I, I like yeah. to have there, it's... Or, or maybe Eriksen for Arsenal if that's a better fit. But no, I think... The Tottenham-Arsenal thing yeah. may, may hinder that. I mean, you remember what he was like at Tottenham during... Like that whole stint I had where he wasn't playing, he was, he was walking about, wasn't it? Yeah. So personality could be, especially going to a club like Arsenal and the state <clears> they're in right <throat> now. It's. I don't think he'd go. It's to Arsenal. Yeah, miss, but so, but know. some people need a lift, don't they? Some, of, co- of course, they, they do, need a lift and, and to be wanted. High risk, high yeah. reward. To you know? want, yeah, to be wanted. He was because he's he's a great player. Quality when he plays. player. Yeah. yeah, quality. He yeah. pushed out of Tottenham, didn't he? He was Tottenham's best player. Yeah, but he pushed out. Yeah. Yeah. They covered it all in that documentary. Well, I think I think all of that comes down to also that Tottenham weren't playing, weren't paying the sort of wages other people were. They got the one hundred and twenty, and and it's agents as well, and yeah, and that all that all leads into it, you know. So yeah, well, I mean, Draxler or Ericsson for West Ham, I mean, maybe a little lofty, but I mean, they're both players that. I think a little lofty, yeah. I admit, I wouldn't see Eriksen. Draxler could, you know, who knows? I mean... But this is the most lofty West Ham have been, so... That's true, yeah. 
So you know, but is there a is there and, like and, a, and they would add something for yeah. them to kick on? I I believe. You I know? would also say Giroud. Like I mean, we've mentioned it over and over again, and Giroud seemed to want out if he wasn't getting. Yeah, game I've come time. to the conclusion that because they do need a centre forward more than anything, but I've come to the conclusion that that's just not going to happen, is it? Selling Haller though for what basically the price tag they brought in? No less. Oh, less. Uh, yeah, I think they sold him for less. That's not. He sound positive. <laughs> but, but it's so not. That, bi- that bicycle didn't <laughs> give him a price tag. No, no you I can't. It, that, the it normally is. does. Well, I'm not saying it's he right. Wasn't doing anything else though, you know. Yeah, I know, but that that the highlight reels is what gets you sold. You yeah, know? but that was the one. The reel would be okay, a really Hammers, short reel. Uh, be Hammers five Rodriguez. Seconds, you know? Unfortunately, the rest yeah. of your games get yeah, but televised he did in the World as well. Cup, you don't you know? do a highlight reel. Yeah, against. Yeah, but World Cup. You know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. All right. Well. <clears throat> yeah well it's been great being back with you anyway <laughs> like what, I said the arguments might be a little <laughs> more heated <laughs> there, there could be a, we've got a referee in the middle this time there could time, be a so. decent player like Braxler though that is looking at West Ham considering I mean what they should consider wanting to play in the Premier League yeah of course yeah. but there is there may be someone like that that would be like if I just slot into that team they would be yeah you know, and like it would be a more creative player like those you know? yeah. Yeah, of course it would yeah I would yeah. like that yeah, well, yeah, well I don't man. think Suchek went in there. Thing I could, I could score a bunch of goals right now. Yeah. No. All right, guys. Well, well, thanks for being here. I think the next few will probably be like this in yeah. person. Yeah. Seeing as I'm working up here. Oh, by the way, um, I tell you who shocked me, and it's not to do with football. Conor McGregor. Oh yeah. You know what? Somebody that that you sort of love to hate. Oh. Yeah. And then he comes out all humble <laughs> and spoils it. Yeah. Did I not say to you we were together last uh, Thursday? I said if McGregor gets caught by Poirier's infinite combos, yeah. he'd, he'd be beat. And that's exactly I think it was more to do with his foot, that one. It is, it, well, yeah, he, he, get, he hit the low kicks and, and smashing his, his power chin off. in, yeah, 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 and his yeah. calf. Yeah. But I'm just saying, like, the, yeah, he, he took out all the power from McGregor's front foot, but just Poirier, with, it, it's not like, you know, usually you'd see like a three or four punch combo. Mm. When Poirier, see, Poirier sees the opening, mm. it's like 12 punches. Break oh, no, fourteen it, punches. It was good, but I didn't. I didn't feel the same because he was, he was humble beforehand. Yeah, you know, he was very oh, respectful you, before. You didn't see his last fight then, and then he, he was humble. He was the same thing, and he fucked the guy up. Yeah, he but it's absolutely Donald Cerrone. Reti- yeah. I, I, yeah. I know, but then that was a. All right, that was a. He didn't fight for another year. I, I've, I've, he was out longer before the Cerrone fight than he was. I, I know, yeah, but he was a whole different yeah. monster. Um. I've had time to sit on this, but I think like six, seven times out of ten, McGregor beats him. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah maybe. But yeah. maybe, but the game plan of Poirier. Um, <clears throat> well, they're talking about a rematch as well, aren't they? Because well, well, a one-on-one. One, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. 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 All right, I, man. I, I won some money on Poirier, yeah. and I didn't want to tell anyone before because I've no, lost no, no. money on him before. He, he forgot as well. Yeah. He, he, oh, jumped, he? he jumped up he? screaming, and he's <laughs> yeah. like, yeah, and then like half an hour later, he's like, I think I just won like three hundred dollars. Yeah, <laughs> true gambler. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's because yeah. Yeah. Let me... I bet on Poirier against Khabib, and I lost that. So. And you would again if he came back. Yeah. You you just want someone like that to do like so well, so you can keep like disliking yeah. him, you know, because he's in your face. Yeah, yeah. And he keeps doing well, you know. So. Yeah. All right, man. All right, guys. Happy well, days. Nice Good to little, be back. Nice little MMA on the end there. Like um, the old days. Yeah. So but yeah, they, we'll, they uh, need to bring that into football. Have Jack Grealish and uh, no, they, they they need a whole new set of players. You wouldn't deaden his calves, would you? Well, no, no he'd, kicking. He'd fall down yeah. on the first one. <laughs> no kicking. Yeah, he yeah. definitely inflates those calves. Yeah, <laughs> like, yeah he like pumps them up before the <laughs> yeah. game. All right, guys. Well, well hopefully I'm, the predictor. I don't <laughs> bottle it again. I'm gonna come back once game. You're lucky because I had I had the Chelsea socks, the Chelsea shorts, the Chelsea hoodie. Yeah, the um, that's the beanie that's that was gonna make you wear and the scarf, but yeah, you know, I felt bad for you with the full kit wanker. Yeah, exactly. Stick your uh, shin pads. In. Yeah. All right, guys. All right, well, thanks for listening, guys. Make sure to go to fivepintsin.com. Check out everything we got going on there. We got the uh, the email list you can sign up for. We'll send you all the updates, and we've got um, some cool shirts in the shop as well. Um, so, all right, guys. Thanks for, again. Thanks for coming over, Dad. Cheers, man. Cheers, guys. See you next time. Thanks. Thanks.